Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film what the title refers to, a wardrobe reorganization kind of video. So we have been in lockdown for two months now um, in Denmark, so all throughout January and February we probably have more lockdown to come after this. Um, and I just wanted to do something that always makes me happy and that always makes me feel re-inspired and yeah, it just makes me happy um, to work with my wardrobe and reorganize it and to slowly start getting ready for the spring season. So I'm not going to be doing my spring um, switch over in this video. I'll save that for another day and when we get a little bit closer to spring, um, since we're only at the end of February right now, it's still a bit cold outside, so it's a bit too early to do the the full switch over. My wardrobe looks so messy right now, at least to you know compared to what it normally looks like, and I'm just sick of looking at my loungewear. Even you know on the days where I wear loungewear, I would like to hide it away for a while. I've been wearing loungewear so much, um, both throughout like the the end of my pregnancy last year and also just. Many days on maternity leave equals loungewear, I have to admit. So um, I really want to get reconnected with my wardrobe, feel re-inspired and ready for the spring season and hopefully lighter days to come. Anyway, I'm waffling on. Morten made me a cup of coffee before he took Emilia for a walk and a nap in the stroller. So I'm gonna have a bit of me time and work with my wardrobe and share the process with you guys. So let's just get started. Let's start from the beginning, in case you are new here on my channel. So, first of all, I've bought some bits here. I've bought these wire baskets from a brand called House Doctor. I believe it's a Danish brand, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, these sort of like brass or gold wire baskets that I'm hoping I can use for some sort of storage inside of my wardrobe to make it look really nice and neat. Then I also bought these trouser hangers, which I'm quite excited to get into my wardrobe. Um, and I think this is gonna make a huge difference. So we'll see about that. So obviously for trousers and skirts, stuff like that. Um, okay, they're stuck. Maybe it's not the best idea to put them inside of these baskets. <laughs> there we go. So then I actually also bought a fabric shaver. Um, and I've been using those little like manual cashmere combs for for so long um, and I've always been really like satisfied with those but you know there's just something about a proper fabric shaver it's a lot more um, easy to use these and yeah I think it's a lot more effective than using those little manual cashmere combs really so I'm really excited to try it I haven't tried it yet I've only seen what it looks like it's not easy to do with one hand there we go so let me just show you what it looks like. Here it is in all its glory. And yeah, I just really love steamery um, products because they make these like really aesthetically pleasing kinds of wardrobe care products really. Um, so thinking I'm gonna try this as I go um, along in this video as well and then give you a small review of that. What I really like about this one is that it's actually rechargeable so you don't have to faff around with single-use batteries and stuff like that. It also comes with a little brush here so you can clean it. Basically, you just take off the cap here and then you push this little button on the top. And there you go. And then it closes with this little magnetic feature. So we just have a sip of coffee before it gets cold. So let's have a look at my wardrobe. In short, I have all of my capsule wardrobe storage up here, and then this is my wardrobe. So, everyday wardrobe in this side, and then I have my occasion wear over here in this side. Um, and yeah, as you can see, I know to some people this is not messy, but to me this is messy. Like my jumpers, like some of my jumpers have gone up here. I have some jeans there that I couldn't fit into the drawer. This is just looking super messy. This is not how I want to store like sunglasses. They need to go into their um, case. And yeah, this doesn't belong here either. I really like to get this organized again, all of my jewelry. A lot of you always ask me where these are from. They are from Ikea and I'll link them down below. Um, but yeah, I really want all of my rings in one side and just give this whole thing a reorganization and a bit of love. 
I have, um, like I said, trousers or jeans and knitwear down here. And as you can see, it's just super packed at the moment because I have been getting some of my old jeans out from storage as I've been losing weight um, postpartum. So yeah, this is just overflowing at the moment. I have all of my jumpers that I'll soon be packing away, at least some of them, when the spring season comes around. So like I just mentioned before, with the trouser hangers here, I really want to put my jeans and pants onto these and then hang them over here where I currently have my occasion wear. Um, and then I'm gonna pack that away. I'm gonna fold it up and put it into a drawer because who are we kidding? Probably don't have any special occasions to go to or anything we can attend at the moment anyway. So I'm gonna fold that up really nice and then hide that away in a drawer and then whenever I need it, if I will be needing it, I can always um, take it out and steam it. So I'm thinking I just want to adjust things so that my wardrobe looks more inspiring and so that it actually fits my current life situation, which I always recommend. Over here I have um, nightwear and loungewear. Looks a bit messy as well, as you can see. And I really just want to take that and chug it into a drawer. I'm so sick of looking at it. So yeah, I think we should just get started. Really want to remove that suitcase as well because that's totally ruining the vibe. And I think that there's some extra room above Morden's wardrobe over here where I can put that away. So yeah, let's do it. that that has been bugging me for so so long so i'm gonna hide that away up there i think i'm gonna stick it with a piece of tape or something So this is just sort of like a rough idea of how I think I'm going to be organizing my wardrobe. Um, so I've just placed a few items in there um, just to see how it looks and just to play around with it. Put in the wire baskets here and there's more room in the back there. So um, I quite like the way that it looks but I think I would need to really think about what I put in there so it doesn't look even more messy. Um, but I like the idea that there's actually more room in the back there so I can hide away things that I don't want to be too visible. Um, I'm gonna put up my everyday basics up here as per usual and then I've just hung up a few trousers and pants here and um, yeah obviously that's what I wanted to, to, to do. That's why I wanted to put the jeans and pants in this side of the closet because it's a bit longer so I would be able to have them there in full length and I wouldn't get those really annoying marks here at the knees if I had to fold them. This is a new blazer for anyone wondering. By the way, I bought this secondhand recently. Um, can't wait to wear that all through spring. Haven't emptied this drawer because this is my socks and underwear drawer, really boring, but I recently gave that a reorganization and cleaned that out, so not gonna do that again. And then I think, yeah, I'm just gonna move on with filling in the drawers and the shelves. And this is the current state of the bed and the bedroom. <laughs> Got all my everyday basics here. I'm gonna sell this blazer, by the way, for anyone interested. That was kind of like a substitute, or this one was kind of a substitute for this one. Just didn't buy it, you know, in the in the right size and the right fit that I wanted at the time. So I'm gonna sell this on my Westier Collective profile. So keep an eye out for that. I'll link it down below for you. So I'll pop that in there very soon. Everyday basics. I got my jewelry over there, some basic tops, knitwear, jeans and pants, occasion wear, loungewear somewhere as well, nightwear, some different accessories, hats. And then I've just borrowed East bed for all of my sportswear over here. That's just gonna go back in its drawer. I got all my shoes down here both occasion wear and everyday shoes. Got my starch shoes over there. 
not completely sure where I'm gonna put those so I'm just gonna put them back in there we'll see but it just it already feels so much more refreshing it smells good no more dust in there so yay. I just mentioned I will be putting some things up for sale on my West Year Collective profile and I'll be linking that down below if you want to go have a look or just follow me and um, keep yourself updated in there. We'll be selling that blazer as I mentioned. I have some shoes that I'll be selling as well for example. You guys might remember that I think was it last year or the year before I bought these um, Castanier uh, espadrilles. These are actually the ones with the six centimeter heel. Um, I bought those recently because I just feel like they're a bit more manageable and they're not so high as the ones with the 8 or I think it's 10, 10 centimeter heel that I bought pre-loved on Westier. Um, so I'll be selling those with the higher heel height because just, you know, with a little one on the arm and just because I wore those espadrilles quite a lot that summer that I bought them and I just found them a bit too high for my taste and then when I do my spring switch over I'm sure there are some other things here that I would like to maybe pass on to someone or to a new home. So the time is currently 12.30 and I'm getting hungry so I'm gonna take a quick lunch break before continuing. As you can see a lot of the mess already disappeared and again I think it looks so much better already and yeah I'll see you in a bit. Right so I am back from lunch and um, E woke up from her nap so I just had to do a bit of breastfeeding as well. She actually spit up on my shoulder there. So I'm gonna tackle the um, jewelry trays here or the jewelry tray and then this watches slash sunglasses tray. Um, I've actually put the belts that used to be up here. They just used to be rolled up in the back here. Just rolled them up and put them in one of these wire baskets because I quite like the way they look. I mean, obviously I could keep them up there as well, but yeah, like I said, I like the way these wire baskets look and I just feel like they make my whole wardrobe look a bit more like a, like a shop, basically. <laughs> two are looking nice and neat now. I've got my sunglasses here. I can't find the case for these ones. I think they might be in the car or in some bag somewhere. I'll find that some other time. Got a pair of Ray-Ban rounds here and then my classic oops, brown Wayfarer sunglasses down here. Both bought secondhand on West Year Collective. Then I've got some bangles here. One from Daniel Wellington and this I can't really remember. It's really old. Then I've got sort of like my Link metal watches here. Got sort of more like um, vintage leather strap watches here. Some additional straps and some bracelets here that a friend gave me. That one says Mama. Then I've got the jewelry tray over here. Got all my necklaces. So you can see I've divided them into my gold pieces and then my silver pieces. Don't wear the silver pieces as much anymore. There we have some pieces that I might sell they need a clean in any case and then they might go back otherwise I might sell those um, but most of these are my own designs useless jewelry and as you can see I've made some space here because we've got some rather amazing things coming up this year we've got my rings over here we've got more sort of like statement earrings and dangly earrings we've got an ear cuff up here we've got my studs here some hoops small hoops bigger hoops we've got some loose pendants here that you can wear both in the um, hoops like the earrings and in the different necklaces that we offer. 
got some bracelets up here and then these silver pieces up here try to sort of divide that into categories as well and then up here we have loose chains different sorts of chains and different sorts of lengths different necklaces with bigger pendants or round pendants more sort of like sleek pendant necklaces over here and then here we have the silver necklaces over here we have all of the long necklaces and sort of like shorter loose chains and then necklaces that currently have a pendant on them but again you can mix and match those and wear them as you like and that's what i like about my jewelry collection so they are looking very neat now i just went and got myself a smoothie and some biscuits so while I have my snacks, I am going to put these shoes back into the closet or the wardrobe. Um, obviously, we have a lot of like a lot of shoes or everyday shoes and coats and jackets and like things like that in the hallway. Sometimes I also keep my bags in the closet in the hallway as well, because, if, you know, whenever I rotate something or whenever something is in use, I just have it in the hallway because it's easier when you leave. The house this is something you guys often ask me about like what about the rest of your coats what about the rest of your shoes they are in the small entrance hall or the washroom i'm running out of space in the drawers as you can see here i folded up my little occasion wear mini capsule wardrobe so i have some like dress pants i have a pleated skirt i have some fancy camisoles like slip tops and blouses down here so that's sort of my go-to's whenever i go out and then I have some occasion wear shoes down here as well. I have these, I have these, and then I have my secondhand gold pumps from Valentino. Love these shoes so much. Um, I have some towards the back here as well, but I don't wear those nearly as much as I wear these whenever I go out for a special occasion, which has not been much lately, both because of the pandemic, but also just mom life again. So I need to figure out where I want to store those. I might pop them back into that shelf there where they used to be before, just because there's some space there and that would look nice um, to have the shoes there, I think. So I managed to reorganize these boxes right here. So these were the two that I already had. So in this one I've put extra hangers and then I'm gonna put every like all the small like wardrobe care bits that I have into this one. So there's a steamer down here, a lovely mint green one as you can see, and then an accessory for that. I have a lint remover. I usually bring this with me for traveling. Um, and then I think I'm gonna put the steamery fabric shaver down there as well. I just need to take it out of the box and then I'll put all the bits and bobs for that in here as well. And then in this one I have all all things sort of like summer and beach wear. So I have this hat, I have a um, sort of like beach bag, have some swimwear, some tube tops, again nice for sunbathing. So that's sort of like again summer related beach wear kind of thing. And then in this wire basket, I've put um, thinner scarves and I have some bandanas here. I have um, a big like purse slash wallet, have a super old snake skin or snake skin lookalike clutch here and then some additional straps for handbags. Yay, like a glove actually have a coat here with some lint on it as you can see so I'm just gonna try the steamery fabric shaver just for the fun of it that is super effective way more effective than those little cashmere combs that i used to use before those are great for like knitwear but for heavier things like a coat like this where the where the fabric is a bit more stiff and it's a bit harder to remove these like small bubbles this is definitely great so huge fan of this highly recommend um and i'll link it down below in case you are interested so i'm done putting everything back in the wardrobe and it just looks amazing if i do say so myself i just need to take care of this pile over here some of these things are bits and bobs that i need to throw out like that 
single-use face mask over there and then other things are things that I need to put in storage and some of these things are going to come up on sale on my Westier Collective profile. But yeah, here you have the wardrobe. So let me give you a tour. Up here we have my storage tubs or my storage boxes and I've actually updated those recently with like a little label on them. So over here I have all my like light clothing and summer clothing. I have knitwear and blazers and over here I have jeans and pants. Um, up here I have my hats. So I have a wool hat there and I have a Baker Boy cap and a um, straw hat in the back there as well. Have all of my jeans and pants as you saw on my new jeans hangers. Um, I actually also just put in my trench coat here. I recently took that out of storage and um, I don't really want to fold it up because I just steamed it. So it's here and I'll start using that very soon because the spring season is coming. Then I have my little black dress which is more something I wear for occasion wear but it is part of my all year basic wardrobe because I feel like that's just something every woman should have in her, her wardrobe basically. So it's very nice that I still have room enough for longer items like that in here as well together with my jeans and pants. Down here I have my occasion wear shoes. As you saw before I have my knee-high boots in the back there. Um, might store those away soon as spring will spring is closing in on us. Um, down here I have my storage shoes so I have my espadrilles, I have some flats, ballet flats, I have some sandals, I have some other shoes that I've stored away from previous seasons. Down here I have everyday shoes. Currently it's empty here towards the back. Um, again, because I keep most of my everyday shoes in the hallway, in the entrance hall. But I like to have some on display in here as well. So I have my secondhand. These are all secondhand, by the way. These are my Isabel Marang boots, Acne Studios uh, Jensen boots, and then my leather Converse over there, which have quickly become one of my favorite pair of shoes. Um, and then up here I have my underwear as I mentioned. So I have socks here, I have briefs and like thongs down here, I have some thermal underwear, different types of bras here, and then I have ankle socks. Again these organization cubes are from Ikea, they're well old but I think you can still get your hands on them if you are interested. Um, down here I actually decided to move my occasion wear up in another drawer because it just made more sense to have all of my loungewear and nightwear in the same drawer, especially together with my underwear, I think. So I think that's actually how I started out organizing the wardrobe and now it's sort of like back to that state, which I, which I like. Down here you can see that space there is empty, but I actually want to get one more of these little stools to put in there. Um, that one we use in the bathroom um, when we bathe Emilia and we often use that in the bathroom if you have small kids coming over and they can't reach the sink. So that really belongs out there. But I'd really like to get one in here for my wardrobe so that when I have to reach something in the very top up here I always have a little stool I can just pull out. So that empty slot right there is going to be for that. Then we have belts in this wire basket. We have a travel pouch for jewelry. This is really really clever. Let me just show you real quickly. I bought it from a seller on Etsy. I'll see if I can link it down below. Um, but the, it's just this really lovely pouch where you can put in your earrings and you can clip open these straps and you can fasten your um, necklaces onto one of these and then down into these small pockets so they don't get tangled up when you travel. Um, and you can obviously also slide your finger rings and stuff like that onto these straps. This is a great little jewelry travel pouch. And then, like I mentioned before, I have... Um, extra hangers and my wardrobe care kit in there in the back. I have the um, fabric shaver and my steamer, extra hangers, stuff like that. And then up here, the scarves and all these small accessory bits and bobs as you saw. And then towards the back is my um, basket with all of those like sort of beach wear and beach essentials. Moving up here, we have my sportswear drawer, so leggings, tops, jackets, and then in this organization cube I have um, things such as sports bras, I have my gym watch as well, gym you know, watch strap, things like that. 
And then in the drawer above that, I have basic tank tops that I wear, especially right now when I'm breastfeeding. I have some breastfeeding tops here, which are really nice to wear underneath like jumpers, t-shirts, whatever it might be. Um, and then towards the back, I have the occasion wear. Um, it doesn't take up much space, so I thought that was a nice solution for that. So that's that drawer. Then I have my knitwear up here. There's more jumpers there in the back. Um, I think it's quite nice to have all of my my everyday wear in sort of like this section here of the wardrobe. I think that looks quite nice. Then I have my bags up here, mainly my crossbody bags. I have one more crossbody bag in the entrance hall because I'm using that right now. And then I have my shopper bag there as well. I have my vintage Chanel, super old Marc Jacobs bag, and then a brown Oh My Bag handbag there. This is the Megan. I believe this one is sold out at the moment, but it is a beautiful bag. So it's quite nice to have those on display there, I think. And then, yeah, all of my everyday essentials up here. Leather jacket, blazers, shirts, t-shirts, tops. Um, and then that's basically it. That's my wardrobe. I have all of my favorite pieces here and yeah, like you know, I've been doing the capsule wardrobe system I think for five years now and I still absolutely love doing it. I love being able to rotate like old favorite pieces and like remove things that I can't wear because they're not in season. So I only always have the things that I can actually wear in my wardrobe. I think that's that's the most inspiring way to utilize your wardrobe and to use what you have with more intention. So like I mentioned, I haven't done my spring capsule wardrobe switch over in this video, but I will be doing that very soon. So in case you want to see what this wardrobe looks like, but just in a spring version very soon, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, share. I'd love to have you around. And yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. Hope you found it useful and inspiring. Maybe you can take some of this and use it in your own wardrobe organization journey. In any case, take care and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye guys.